the flooring is done. Now we have to do something with the walls. Amazing. See that? It just, it looks, it looks really good. Yeah. Did they give me the wrong paint? Papa Joe? <laughs> I'm still, I'm kind of on that fence. If, I, if we get another set of baseboards or not. What does it take to be a contractor, get the contractor priced at Home Depot? Maybe. You you get your own entrance. Maybe. And your own checkout. But. Is it like a credit card or is it like something that you have to apply for? Brown paper that you put on the floor. It comes like in these big rolls and it protects the floor. So when I paint the ceiling, any drips will go down on the on the on the paper. Uh, brown paper? Well we're gonna get paint too. Yeah. Good morning guys. Welcome or welcome back to the video. Today's video is all about getting all these little bits and pieces done, such as the flooring is done. The flooring is done. It, the flooring is done in the bedroom. Now we have to do something with the walls because although this is a great color, it's leaning a little on camera it's leaning a little yellow green but it really is a little beigey pink in real life we're gonna paint it you know <laughs> we're gonna paint it here are all the color choices right here um guess what it's gonna be black and white i know you were shocked i bet you were i i bet you were shocked <laughs> They are great neutrals. So I have the two colors. We are going to go to Home Depot. This same thing as the office is going to be black. It's not going to be like a really dark black. It's going to be a soft black. And then, and then these walls, guess it, Chantilly lace. Or actually, it's going to be Bear's version of Chantilly lace, which is called whipped cream. So that is what we're gonna paint these two walls. Meanwhile, Joe is gonna replace the outlets in here. They're that off-white or beige color, I guess back when in the 70s, 80s, I think 90s too, they put these this color of outlet in that kind of, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that color so he's gonna do it in new outlets and new cover plates in white and we have to paint the ceiling the ceiling has not been painted since we've owned the house so that needs to be painted as well I'm gonna go straight white on the ceiling um, ceiling white which is kind of like a, a dull white I guess ceilings always look great when they're refreshed the um closet issue there we go that's going to be a later project we are going to do a more of a customized built-in area for the closet but right now we're not going to worry about that we're going to consider that done for the moment we're not going to put the baseboards up because if we're gonna do closet inserts um, and build up that closet, I don't wanna take out <laughs> the baseboards and then reapply them. We're gonna hold off on the baseboards at the moment. It is time to go to our second home, which is Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot has the cheapest price on the baseboard so that's why we're going to home depot and in this video we are going to finish this as well the doors the front of the doors i have already put two coats on they're ready to go i have to put the second coat on the back of the door and then <sighs> 
allergies. Uh, second coat of here, and then we can um, install all the doors and get this going. Can we look at the countertop, sure. the live ed edge countertop? Sure. We got a to-do list. All right, so I am trying to look for drop cloths. I see tarps. I have a tarp. Mm, not my favorite. Oh, here we go. Plastic. Plastic, plastic. I'm going to sit you down. Do you think 10 by 25 is going to be enough? Big enough? I'll tell we have the paper, so I'll just grab this. Where's Joe? I always lose him in here. He's got the cart. You want to email the receipt? Get to painting. Let's get to painting. I like these tops. I like how they had the scoop and then you put it in. This. I like this. I wish all paint came with this. Then it doesn't get that metal, crusty, rusty stuff. I like these. This. It's awesome. All right. I got two gallons in the whipped cream and then we've got one gallon in the satin black and I got this in matte so it's gonna have that kind of sheen to it but I got this in eggshell just so we can wipe it off let's get inside and paint Start painting. It's going to be probably a today and tomorrow project. Enough procrastinating. Let's get into it. Afterwards. I would prefer to paint a person and talk after. 
You're gonna want this off. Is this recording? Hello? <laughs> That's what I'm asking myself. Is this a booger? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. How do I turn it off? I'm gonna turn it off. I've said it many, many, many times. Look at what a big difference painting your ceiling is. We're going for white. This was the color of the whole house. The walls, the baseboards, everything was this color. This is probably why I don't like a warm white. This, this paint here. But look at the difference. It's, it's, gosh, I can't tell you how much of a difference it is. Yes, we have popcorn ceilings. No, we're not gonna take them off. Not, not, no, not at this time. But look at the difference. <sighs> it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a job, but I will be very happy when this is done. Okay, 5.40 in the evening. I must have been dreaming if I thought I could get all three projects at least started by uh, today. <laughs> I don't know. And shop for this stuff and prep. It must have been crazy. I, in fact, I know I was, but we got the ceiling done and it looks amazing. Now we are going to do this. And the reasoning why we are doing that first is when we do the kitchen, that is gonna be our makeshift kitchen, makeshift <laughs> kitchen until we get this completed. There's a couple of things that we have to order and I'm hoping that they get in on time. I really am. But we have to have the base counters in before we can fabricate for the countertop and before we can do the floor, before we start ripping up the floor. So I'm really motivated to get that coffee area done. So all we have to do is the second coat and let's do it. Let's get that done today. It's 540. We can whip that out. No problem. Let's roll. Let's, let's roll it. We're going to do the second coat like we did. Oh, I did do a quick sand and I will kind of talk you through the quick sand because normally I can do a wet sand and it looks good. But when I tried to do the wet sand on the on the door downstairs it did not it did not do well so with this one hour enamel you cannot do the wet sand method you have to do a dry sand method and i'm going to flip you around and show you how i sand for um in between coat really fast <laughs> 
So I know that there is some chatter out there about using a brown paper bag. And although this works great, it didn't knock down the nubs like I wanted to. Like there's some nubs here. So I used the one, the 1,500 wet or dry uh, sandpaper and I, I, I think I got it at the dollar store years and years ago or I got it from, I have no idea where I got it. I could tell you something I probably will lie to you, but I just kind of went around and made some kind of circular motions. And then that made it nice and smooth and it did not change the finish. This stuff, guys, is so scratch proof. It's going to be wonderful for this cabinet. So let's get to putting coat number two on. And I'm just going to roll it on and I'm going to uh, just take the brush and lightly knock down any of those... Um, kind of rough raised areas that the roller creates and that will get us a nice smooth finish. But guys, you see how well that self leveled. So let's put coat number two. And for the second coat, um, I just want a light coat. I don't want a heavy coat. So um, I'm using my favorite brush that I use for um, top coats. It tends to be a little bit uh, softer brush. Okay, everything has two coats and sorry, my hands were wet. I was doing dishes um, and it looks amazing. See that? It just, it looks, looks really good. So that, so these have two coats as well. We're just going to let them, um, we're just going to let them hang out here overnight and then we will put the doors and drawers on there, on them. Um, we do not have hardware yet, else I would have drilled holes for at least the drawers, but we don't have the hardware yet. So we're just going to uh, make do for right now, but look at how beautiful and that is, and I, I don't have to do a top coat because it's built in. So that is the most lovely thing about this paint ever. I don't have to top coat it. It's really good. Let's pull off the tape. We don't need it. I really, I didn't, <laughs> sorry if you guys wanted to have some uh, ASMR with the tape, but, um, I'm going to do something on the back, but, um, I did kind of mess up. Uh, see the little, see the little slobber there. And of course a slobber down here. That's okay. Because like I said, we're going to do, uh, something on this wall and then 
I do have some touch up paint I can touch up there. Now this gap here, we will have to do a, a quarter round um, just because the walls are not leveled. So we'll just have to put a quarter round on that, but that will be like a pre-painted. Oops, that will be a pre-painted thing. And then we'll just attach it when we trim this out. How, how satisfying is that? Man, I did really poor job painting. Anyway, let's pull this off. Just have to get the oscillating tool to cut that and cut those tips off. And the hubby is replacing the outlets and the ceiling guys. Ceiling turned out great. I, you know what? I, I mean, as much as a pain in the bottom painting a ceiling is, it looks so good. So I'm so happy that we did that. Now, tomorrow is going to be wall, this wall, the black wall, and then these walls. They're both going to require two coats. So. We might as well just get that done tomorrow. And hopefully we can get the bed back in here tomorrow night. We'll see. Anyway, see you tomorrow. early on a Sunday. My nuts. I can't sleep. I want to get this room done. I wanted to start it last night after dinner and I was just exhausted. So the cats wouldn't let me sleep this morning. So I thought, well, I'll get up and I'll start on this project. The sun hasn't even started to rise. Who else gets up at five o'clock on a Sunday? I'm kind of tired of living in a mess, so I am motivated, invested, determined to get this done just so we can have a good night's sleep. Let's put you up here. As much as I want this wall to be done, we've got to do all the other walls first because it's easier to cut in dark on light than light than dark. It's easier to go dark to light. Anyway, we're gonna get the walls done. Okay, 
I got my ears in, so we'll see how well this sounds. Using that side, pour spout to open. Continue the wall line and listening to some music, and I will check back in in a minute. All done. What do you guys think? It took three coats, three coats of a one coat paint to cover that brown. It just kind of like kept seeping through. So now this wall here. I am covered in paint. I can't wait. I can't wait to paint this wall. Actually it's not black. It's kind of like a, well it's a very dark gray with blue undertones. But can't wait. Whew. I'm going to get it done tonight. Hopefully it should not take two coats. I thought the white paint would have covered a lot better and I did not have to um, cut in three times and paint three times, but I did. But it turned out really good. So again, this color is, uh, it's bubblegum. Oh, whipped cream, bubblegum, bubblegum's pink. You can tell I'm tired. It's whipped cream by Bear. And it is a one coat coverage. <laughs> Just waking up the cats, cause the cats woke me up. I'm so tired, but I wanna get it done. I'm so tired. I'm going to put a coat on and take a nap. I'm trying to get this done so Jill can get in here and switch out the plates, but also to caulk too. And then we can get our bed in here. And then we can do a little mini bedroom makeover. Another mini bedroom makeover. Although I think this is a pretty significant makeover. We're just not getting new furniture yet. I have, I want to get two night side dressers, but I want them to be antique and I want them to be the ones that have the marble on top with um, the French kind of round door poles. I'll, if I can find a picture of it, I'll put a picture up, but that's what I want on either side as our nice stands because we still need the store storage. This uh, closet in here is a tiny closet. Um, Joe gets this side and half of this, and then I get half of that and this side and all the sheets and blankets go on top. So 
again with the floor, the club, again with the closet organizer that will come in the future. I'm hoping that will help with the storage area, but I still need um, some drawer space. Uh, this big behemoth of a thing um, we got at auction. Uh, it will be painted. But yes, um, we're going to paint that in a future video. So it'll kind of come all together. This paint looks really gray. I wanted a soft black, not a gray. It's going to dry a little darker. Did they give me your own paint? It's supposed to be satin black. That to me is really gray. They for you to put the black in it? I know paint dries darker, but good grief. Let me dry that dark. We'll try it. We'll give it the good old fashioned try. Oh, these are wall sconces. That's that's why I'm not taking them off. If we ever go to take them off, I'll repaint it. I'm wondering if I've got the wrong paint, guys. I'm so tired. All right, let me get painting and I'll show you what it looks like all done. It looks a little blue. Blue black? Huh. Okay, that was a very busy weekend, but we got all the projects all done, and I'm done. <laughs> I am done for the weekend. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. If you're enjoying any of this kind of content, I will see you back here in the next video when we get our bedroom back together. Bye, guys.